What's up, Jay guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. This was a very highly requested video when I posted the picture online on my Instagram. You guys liked the the um, the makeup look, and I asked um, if you guys wanted to see a tutorial, and most of you guys said yes. Many of you said that you guys wanted to see the 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 makeup look that I did, and um, I created it for you guys. I am a little stuffy. I'm a little under the weather. I've been feeling a little stuffy lately. I have no idea why. For those of you guys going to ask me, because a lot of you guys asked me, I had this shirt on, on my um, Snapchat Instagram, and you guys asked me, I bought it at Ross, sorry guys, I wish I could tell you that they had it somewhere else, but I just bought it at Ross for all my Selena fans out there. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, before we go and check this uh, tutorial out, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to have go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there and be part of my girlfriends here on YouTube. And as usual, all my social media sites will be right down below. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, all you have to do is keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's start this tutorial. I just did my brows. Now I'm just going to pretty much clean them with my Chip Trick Concealer. Um, closest thing I have to my natural skin color. So I'm just cleaning them a little bit, you know, because I've seen it here on YouTube. <laughs> After my eyebrows are clean, since my uh, makeup is heavy, I'm going to do eyes first. Of course, Morphe Palette and Jaclyn Hill. I'm using those two colors. I wish they had names or numbers. I'm using this fluffy um, a blending brush by Sigma. And I'm just blending those two colors together on my crease um, all the way up to that part of where the brow um, ends or starts or wherever that is. So here I am just doing it to both sides of my eyes. Now I'm just going to take that glittery shimmery color. Look how beautiful that color is. That is the start of this makeup look actually. I absolutely love this color. So here you're just going to see me that I just do one, but honestly speaking, I really pack on this color on my lips, guys. Then I'm going to go in with this darker brown at the bottom, and I'm going to use a smaller um, blending brush, and I'm going to blend that shimmer color um, with that darker color, so it's going to be, um, it's going to look a little bit more on the smoky eye. Using um, Queen Bee by Coco Lashes. So. I'm just pretty much applying the lashes. I'm not doing a liner, guys. Like, no liner whatsoever. Just lashes. So for face, um, I'm doing the pore. But I pores by It Cosmetics as my um, primer. Um, real quick, guys. With the face, you can see... Oh, I'm sorry, with the eyes, you can see that I just pretty much played with the colors until I had it. I got into the color that I liked. Um, moving to foundation, I'm using Fenty Beauty. Um, I've been loving this foundation right now. I think I need to ump it up a little bit on the color because I'm tanning right now. So my face tends to look a little bit lighter. So I'm using this Beauty Blender by Elf Cosmetics, which I absolutely love. It's so soft and blends everything so well. So just pretty much blending my foundation, just making sure everything is even. And I love the finish on this foundation. Like, I absolutely love it. We're going to color correct, and I'm using this L'Oreal Color Corrector palette. And I'm using that color in the corner. It's supposed to be like a salmon color. It's still a little bit brighter than normal, but um, it still works. Brightens my under eyes really good. I'm using, of course, my um, trusty Shape Tape Concealer. And as you know, we are going to OD on this baby, and we're going to put it everywhere. High points of the face and a lot under, my, under, under the eyes. So just blending it with my um, Beauty Blender. I love how much of a difference concealer makes to the face. So just pretty much blending everywhere that I apply concealer. Then I'm going to set my concealer with the baking method and um, I just pretty much grabbed it with the Beauty Blender and set my under eyes, set the bridge of my nose, um, my forehead, and of course I carved a little bit under my cheekbones. So I'm going to do the same thing I did to the top of my eyes. Um, I'm just going to mix those two colors together and I'm going to apply that on the bottom part of my lashes just to make the um, eyes look a little bit more smoked out, a little bit more complete. I feel like when you do your under eyes with um, shadow, um, it makes your eye look popped a lot more. So I'm just pretty much going to blend all this um, powder onto my face everywhere. And then I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm going to be using the Derma Blend Bronzer. I love the 
to cool to um the warm tone that it has is perfect for my skin color it's not too deep it's not too much but it brings a little warmth into my skin um, actually, I went in and applied a little bit of the Hula Bronzer by Benefit just to um, give it that more of the gray undertone for that contour effect. So, of course, just warming up my face. And with this Nip, nip and Fab palette, I'm using that banana color right in the middle to um, brighten my under eyes and set my under eyes. It makes such a huge difference. Now for the highlight, I'm going to be using two. The first one is the Girlactic um, Face Glow in Goldie. I have been obsessed with this highlight. It's like a volume, like depends on how much you put on is the intensity of the highlight. But I just feel like it's so, so cute. It's such a perfect shimmer glow to the face. I absolutely love it. We're gonna ump it up a little bit with the Artist Couture in Gold Digger. Um, I love, no, in Illuminati, I'm sorry. I love this highlight. Yes. Give it to me. Glow. Glow, Biatch Glow. So we're just blending everything together. Now for lipstick, we're going to be using the Mercury Rice. Mercury Rising by um, Gerard Cosmetics is one of my favorite Hydra. They're one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. It's the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. It hydrates your sleeve lips without, and it doesn't dry them. This color is close to Hot Fire by um, Desi and Kate. So guys, this is it. This is the completed look. Very simple, um, smoky eye. Um, just pretty much pop of color on the lips. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. for sticking till the end. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I, like I said, I try to make my tutorials as easy as possible. If I can do them, so can you. Uh, I feel like this look is mostly about um, like lashes and my lips. I just wanted to pretty much come out of my comfort zone and give you guys some bright lip. And you guys told me that it looked good for um, fall, so then here it is. I just wish that you guys could really see the true color of it. My lights are washing these um, this makeup off. Um, it's very warm. If you see it like very close to me, it's like very warm color, um, very bright orange color, and just very smoky brown lids. So I don't know if that helps. Um, the Jaclyn Hill palette and Morphe palette is a staple if you're a makeup artist or makeup junkie or makeup enthusiast. Uh, most of my looks I create using this palette, guys. So. Um, yeah, that is all I have to say. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there. And don't forget to follow me on my social media sites yeah, right down below. Thank you guys so much for your love, your continued support. Much best with all you ladies on my following video. Adios.